they're ready to Getting do the spirits chant up. Yet. So, honey, uh, may I call you honey? You may. Uh, do you have any predictions for this bout? Only 20 minutes. A lot can uh, can be a factor in these short, short games. Yeah, um, you know, games can go either way. I I think that um, Top Herloins they came in second last year, um, so they have uh, they've got big shoes to fill this year. And but I think the the uh, Renegade Derby Dames are a force to be reckoned with. I agree. I think uh, I think this game could also go either way. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna. It's gonna be a good, tight game. Both of these. Uh, both of these leagues are doing a really great job um, with training, and they're doing really well. I think on the Ontario circuit. It's amazing. Every year, I find that the level of competition gets stronger and stronger as uh, the years go on. The fresh meat are uh, doing better and better. They're looking like second and third year veterans from six years ago. Yeah. Stakes are high today. Actually, I didn't even hear a call. I don't think these teams did a call. I'm not sure if you're superstitious. And I what saw that something. Might mean. I saw something going on with uh, the Herloins, but I couldn't quite see the the Derby Dames. But I think every team has their pre-bout cheer, little ritual. Ritual, yeah, something they got going on. There's a lot about Derby that's about the ritual, even like how you pack your gear up. <laughs> I've heard uh, a number of very interesting little religious kind of. Uh, Procedures. Let's leave it at that. Procedures. <laughs> Rites of passage. If you are on the text cast while watching, we'd love to hear where you're watching from and who you're supporting today. I've got a comment here on uh, the text cast from Dawson about uh, beer commercials, beer and cheese. Everyone loves beer and cheese. If you do not have beer and cheese, why not call a friend, invite them over, and ask them to bring the beer and cheese? Yeah. It only takes more than one person to be a party. In fact, you can be a party all on your own. We mm. will party with you. Some people bring the party with them. That's true. Some people just travel with beer and cheese. Halfway decent party in my books. All the way decent party in my books. <laughs> I feel like I would need some bread in the mix. Well, that's the beer. Yeah, barley sandwich. Yeah. Okay, we've got about a minute, just over a minute before the game starts here. Everyone's just uh, getting ready. Looks like there's a lot of excitement on the track. They've been sitting there for a couple minutes just waiting. Ready to go. We just had the whistle blown. Ooh, we've got Reffin Adorabel off skates on an injury, I know. And she's going to be our timekeeper. Got a pretty good officiating crew by the looks of it. I've had no complaints so far in the two games I've watched thus far. And if you don't know who to go for, you can always go for Team Zebra. Team Zebra is We excellent. have uh, Monster Muffin taking lead jammer for the Renegade Derby Dames. And jamming further in the pack is number 11. That is Lulu Venom. She's still fighting her way through. And Monster Muffin's coming up on her scoring pass. The Renegade Derby Dames are doing a good job of uh, holding a four wall at the front, containing the jammer. Oh, but she gets through. She's found that opening, and she is coming up on her first scoring pass. like Monster will take a couple points and call it off. Maybe just one. Let's see what the jammer ref says. One yep. point. One. Jam one in the bag. Six to zero for the Renegade Derby Dames. Trying to see numbers on arms. I'm sorry, I don't actually know these teams super, super well. Hopefully in 20 minutes that'll change. Yeah. We will be giving you the jammer status post -ins. That's number DV8 getting lead for the uh, Renegade Derby teams, the misdemeanor. 
calling it quickly as both jammers were released from the pack almost at the same time, one right after the other. Buns of Anarchy, yes, just, just coming in on behind, forcing her to call the jam. jam underway. Very quick burst of speed from number 13. That is T-Bomb. Hasn't quite made it to the front of the pack yet, but she is pushing hard. Seems and like we had some player on player action there for a second. Top of her loins blocking each other. And Katie Ko also being recycled back. Both of these jammers having a tough time getting through. 30 seconds in, and no lead oh. jammer. Ooh, a hard nice, hit on nice turn try, one. Nice try, T-Bomb. And a nice block by Kim Bustian. Uh-oh. Ah, she resisted the cutting call. That's good. Speaking volumes for the defensive game we're seeing here. I think we just had our first defensive penalty. But still, one minute into the jam, no lead jammer. There we go, Katie Ko on the outside. Oh. oh, a big hit laid by number 11. Lulu That's Venom. Lulu Venom. She jammed for us just a couple jams ago. Yep. Obviously a, a future triple threat. Yep, for the top purloins. Hey, we've got lead jammer, and that is number 39, Katie, Katie Ko. All together now. <laughs> We're seeing... Uh, a power jam here for the Renegade Derby teams. More than just a power jam, the top Herloins have three in the box. This Full is box. Excellent opportunity to put some points on the board, but still, uh, we got Lulu Venom out there, as we've mentioned. A future she, triple threat. She is uh, doing some She's work. She's tearing it up out there, single-handedly. We've got five seconds left. Will she be able to pull off? Yes, she gets that final point. Five more on the board for the Renegade Derby Dames. And it looks like the box is now clear for the top Herloins, aside from the Jammer. The so. Jammer is still in the box, so the Renegade Derby Dames are going to be starting on a power jam. And we'll see how this goes for them. A lot of jostling. And hit to the outside. Lava. Lay it down. Lay it down. Okay. Look like a V from here. Yeah. I'm glad you got the roster. <laughs> and lay it down is lead jammer. And storming from the, the front box. It's T Bomb. T Bomb is coming out. And the pack, and unaware of her, she slid right through. Yep. Hitting her scoring pass now. That's a tough thing to get when uh, you first start playing derby is power jams and watching the box. It's uh, it's tough at any level. Yes. And lay it down. And hopefully they'll learn from their mistakes. Forced to call that jam from the ground after a brutal hit. With three points going on the board. Extending the lead now. 14-0 to zero for the Renegade Derby Dames. Just and over five minutes of play. And it looks like uh, there are two blockers in the box for the top purloins. They uh, seem to be running into some penalty trouble just uh, five and a half minutes into this game. Yeah, and in games this short, it can be brutal. And we have a lead jammer for the Renegade Derby Dames, Grizzly Locks. 182. And we still have Buns of Anarchy trying to get her oh, way Oh, she the just pack. managed to break. Buns of Anarchy. Grizzly calling that jam, taking her four points. Extending that lead. 18, nothing to four of the Renegade Derby Dames. But the Herloins can stay out of the box, maybe put a couple Renegades yep. in the box, get a power jam of their own. The game's not even half over. Oh this, yeah. is, uh, this is nothing, this point spread in the <laughs> grand scheme of things with Derby. Very true, very true. Still, I must say, I am impressed with the defensive and offensive yep. 
the Derby Dames have put we out. We have Monster Muffin jamming for the Renegade Derby Dames. And Hero Creamia for the Top Her Loins. Number zero. I believe her number is actually ground zero to add to the nuclear reference. Yeah. Oh, and Monster Muffin squeaks by on the inside. Full Grand Slam, natural Grand Slam, five points. And looks like Lulu Venom is going to the box. And Monster Muffin puts another five points on the board for the Renegade Derby Dames. Terminator T also going to the box. The Herloins cannot stay out of the penalty box. Bit of trouble on turn two. Monster Muffin rallies, throws up another natural grand slam. Well, I guess it's sort of unnatural, but at least the other jammer's out there. I think that is a natural grand slam. It's still considered natural? I thought it was five on five when we get to five points. Might be wrong. We'll look into that. Well, because she gets all the points from the box, right? Yes. Thirty seconds left. Good show of endurance by Monster Muffin. And she sails through again on turn three. Monster oh no. Muffin. Hero Creamia going to the box, and with only 15 seconds left, that'll be a double power jam. They will be starting the next jam with only a jammer for the Renegade Derby Dames. Monster Muffin taking the outside on the straightaway. Putting up another five points. A brutal and jam for the top herloins. And uh, I can see their bench manager calling a, a timeout, which is a pretty good call at this point. Yes. Get everybody, you know, now, back together. And Do you think they're talking overall game strategy, or do you think they're talking about a way to just hold back the other jammer directly in the next jam? I think they're probably going to try and work a little bit more together um, overall, but focusing on their jammers, because the Renegade Derby Dames seem to have uh, that as a, as a strength over the top herloins. Yes, they are. They're working together very naturally. I imagine they're going to send uh, Lulu Venom out for another jam or two. Yes. Key player for the top herloins. She's been doing great. Take a moment to thank our major sponsor here this weekend, Rydell Skates. And we've also uh, got a sponsorship here this weekend from Monster Muffin. That's right. Who is also playing this game. Unleash your inner monster on the track monster in Monster Muffin Derby wear. From the street, we've got you covered. Outfitting teams with uniforms around the world. Check out the excitement at monstermuffin.com. Have you been to the site? I have. I've been uh, poking around looking for shorts. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, have you ever been to the 1234 website? They're another one of our Boutcast sponsors today. You can uh, price shop from your house. Mm -hmm. I believe I have a, uh, a 1234 Skate Co. pin on my on my derby jacket. That's amazing. Lisa Blue hands them out. She does. She's in, uh, I think, about 23 leagues now. I think she plays yeah, in. Yeah, she, uh, she's, she's all over the busy. place, but a formidable opponent, that Lisa Blue. And we are ready to get going here. Sixth jam of the game. Uh-oh. Oh. Samiracle oh. calls an official stop. And he's talking with the captain of the top her lines. Calling one of her skaters off the track. Switching it up. And T-Bomb. T-Bomb is going to the box. Ah, I guess there was a penalty called. We missed in a previous jam. Samiracle did not miss it. And he would like to see that penalty served. So with one in the box for the top herloins, uh, we have a power jam in favor of the Renegade Derby Dames. Yes, and four on three Derby as well. So that should give her... And a, a quick pass help. through the pack for... 
Creighton Number chaos. Five, two, seven. First time we've seen her jam today. And an impressive first jam, barreling through those blockers. She's coming in low on turn three. Hits the pack and shrugs them off. A little bit a of fight physical, put up. Physical jammer from uh, Crate and Chaos. Flying Frenchie giving her a little bit of resistance on She's turn one. She's able to fight it off. Again, just shrugging off it. A lot of the crowd is behind that move. And we're finally seeing some penalties for the Renegade Derby Dames. We had a misstep there. And, and we, we have, have Hirokrima back in the pack trying to fight her way through. And she does. She is through the pack. And she takes a spill on turn three. Always an adjustment, I think, when you're coming, <laughs> when you come to new arenas, uh, how your skates are going to react. And mm -hmm. of course, also just the way you hit a turn can be a factor there. When you're fresh, those turns can be quite tricky. <laughs> Again, we see some fantastic stamina. She's been lead jammer since pretty much the beginning of this jam, and she's still pushing. 15 seconds left. She's going to try to pick up another four points. Forced to call it by T-Bomb, pushing her to the outside right there on turn one. The score now, 64 for the Renegade Derby Dames, and top Herloins have uh, yet to put a point on the board, unfortunately. But it looks like uh, there's only two blockers going out for the Renegade Derby Dames, so I think this is uh, this is the chance for the top Herloins to get back in the game. I and think it's going to be Jam 7? Could be. I think it could be. It seems like the jammer's jam. going. Oh and no! We still see lava uh, lay it down. Sorry, um, pulling through. And I buns of anarchy squeaks through the pack after getting uh, recycled by the dirt renegade derby dames blockers. Now, right out of the uh, the opening whistle, it looked like buns of anarchy was playing more of a defensive game rather than trying to uh, get her star up to the front. She was playing defensive, and that that was certainly. A a little bit of help, probably welcome from Leia Down. Picked up another couple points in there for the Renegade Derby Dames. Looks like a three point jam. But when it's three to zero, it's all upwards. And we're starting to see some uh, defensive jamming off the line from the top Herloins, and T-Bomb is finally able to get lead jammer and hopefully throw some points on the board for the top Herloins. Oh, Katie KO is just hitting her passing run now. So it does look like that's a very real possibility. The Renegade Derby Dames can throw up. Oh, no, she skated through. We have four points on the board for the top Herloins, courtesy of T-Bomb. She is in the zone. And she's able to call it off before the Derby Dames are able to put any points up on the board. You can see Francisca, the uh, the bench manager, or the coach. Fran Francesca Fiore. Furiously calling her to, to call it off, and T-Bomb T -bomb is just in a zone, trying to get more points on the board for her team. I can speak from experience saying that traveling around the, the once you're out of the pack, is quite the nice feeling. You're going really fast. The wind's blowing your hair around. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite a nice feeling and easy to lose track of things out there. Well, I'm glad I have your experience. Here and with it looks me. like Terminator T and number 182 Grizzly Locks from the Renegade Derby Dames are out of the pack simultaneously. Terminator T is lead jammer, but Grizzly Lock has would, taken uh, the lead. She would do good to call it off right about now. And I thought I saw her doing that, but I guess uh, oh, that wasn't seen. Good thing she didn't. She picks up four points. And so does Grizzly Lock. Grizzly is also through. <laughs> Both 
Both of these jammers just pouring it on as they have to. In these short games, you need to push, push, push. I'm... And again, she uh, she had a little bit of an advantage, and Grizzly Lock just shaved it, shaved it away, forcing her to once again try for another pass. She's looking for some sort of score advantage. She doesn't appear to be making uh, eye contact with her bench. The bench is uh, Francesca Fiore is on edge right now. Yeah. I think, I think she's going to have a lot to say. There's not a halftime show here. So it'll have to wait till after the game. Big and hit. it looks like uh, Jamintaz, Jamintaz. 19, 1969 for the Renegade Derby Dames is getting a penalty for that, for that last hit on, uh, on the top Hurlwind Jammer. It was a hard hit. Terminator T did not get up quickly. <laughs> and Monster Muffin is lead jammer for the Renegade Derby Dames, but Buns of Anarchy is right on, hot on her tail. Very quickly, both jammers move through that pack. Took a stab at uh, jumping through the back of the pack, the top fur loins, and it did not work. She ended up on her bum. She where did she end up collecting the jam. She did collect two points for the Renegade Derby Dames. Still don't think that worked out exactly the way she wanted it to, no. but still. You're right about that. Score with four minutes and 25 seconds left. 81 for the Renegade Derby Dames, 15 for the top fur loins. And top herloins have that clinched another. That is T-Bomb once again. He grabs the lead jammer for the top herloins. And Grizzly Locks is uh, getting recycled by Lulu Venom. I think we can see two of the emerging names, T-Bomb and Lulu Venom. Both and possessing a lot of derby T-Bomb is through skill. the pack. Puts Natural up Natural Grand Slam. Five points for the top herloins. Grizzly Lock now also through the pack. Bomb keeping a decent distance, but she's going to have to watch how she handles the back of the pack. She's going to call it, take three points. Three and a half minutes. And just under 60 points, 58 point lead from the Renegade Derby Dames. I just hear Monster Muffin shouted behind me. Yes, she is now jamming for the Renegade Derby Dames. And through the outside, she pulls it and takes the lead jammer. Terminator T taking the inside. And gets through she the is pack. through. Just behind no, Monster Muffin. Oh, she is called. High block. She is going to be sitting. Terminator T heading to the box. And we have Monster Muffin on another power jam. This could, uh, this will be the final nail in the coffin for the top herloins I'm in this game. So. But there's always the next game in, a, in Fresh and the Furious. Yep, it is a double elimination tournament. Stick around Canuck Derby TV all day today. We'll be about casting from both Ted Reeve Arena and The Bubble, as it's called, the second venue we have located just several hundred feet away. So what do you think? We got two minutes left. Are the Derby Dames going to break 100 points? It'll be the first time we've seen that here today. That's a, that's a very real possibility. Monster Muffin just putting another five up on the board for 91. the Renegade Derby Dames. Still 45 seconds left in this jam, and I think we're going to be having a second jammer coming out shortly. She's standing. There Terminator is T is... And there is still a minute and a half left in this game. That's at least one more jam. No more points gone up. We need nine more points. 
in a minute and a half. Easily doable, but will it happen? I see number 34, Grim Gables. I apologize for my, no, wow, that's 527. There's not even a three in that. That, that is, is creating chaos. And she is not the lone jammer. Terminator T is out of the box. And fighting her way through. No, fought her way through. She is lead jammer. Terminator T straight from the box into lead jammer for what could be the final jam of this game. And we're seeing Creighton Chaos getting sent off on a penalty. I believe it is a cut. Yes, cut major. Terminator T will be the only jammer for the rest of this game if the Renegade Derby Dames cannot draw a penalty from her. Which means the point spread's going down, and it looks like the Derby, Derby Renegade Derby Dames will not break 100 points. Oh, wait a oh, minute. Oh, she calls it with eight, with eight seconds left. And we're getting and timeout called. Clock officially stopped at three seconds. We will have one more jam. And it will start on a power jam for the top herloins. They will try to minimize the damage of the current score, 91 to 26 for the Renegade Derby Dames. I think you got some fans behind you. We're not gonna swing the camera around, but. Stick around with us here at the Ted Reeves Arena. We got game four coming up at one o'clock. That's going to be the Cannon Dolls versus the Dirty Farmers. And in between bouts, great time to go visit Monster Muffin at monstermuffin.com or Rumbling Ridge Derby gear as well. And for those of you that are asking on the text cast, uh, Capital City Roller Girls will be up next. Um, so stay tuned. They will be playing soon. The Herloins are all lined up. Trying to create a no-pack scenario for their jammer. Who is Lulu Venom, number 11 they chose for the final jam of this game. Gets knocked out, but is quick, quick to get back in. Yes, Monster Muffin could not even back up before Lulu Venom was already back on the track. And she is through on turn two, taking was the inside. A, a decent defensive fight from Renegade Derby Dames. But Lulu Venom is now in scoring position. And it is still a power jam, although the Renegade Derby Dames jammer is standing to be released eminently. And I see the Renegade Derby Dames is their bench is trying to get them to speed up so they have good position for their jammer to come flying out of the box. And it is working. The Derby Dames kept that pack very fast. Lulu Venom has yet to actually score a point. Oh, there goes one. Creating Chaos has uh, gone through the pack now. Lulu Venom calling it off. Taking her five points and going. Unofficial final, 87 for the Renegade Derby Dames and 31 points for the top her line. We'll see if that matches up. But a decisive victory for the Renegade Derby Dames. And again, we're looking at a one o'clock start. I'm not sure if that will be pushed back but our next game will be starting very shortly. Don't go anywhere. And Samiracle has called that game. The score stands 87 for the Renegade Derby Dames, 31 for the top herloins. I'd like to thank you for watching.
My name is Ross Sausage. I'm joined once again by Honey Boom Boom. And uh, I'm, I'm about casting next. Are you still here? Yeah, we'll, we'll be back. It'll be the two of us. We'll be back in uh, in just a couple minutes. I'm gonna have a little bit of a drink. Wonderful derby insight. 